Greetings Entities and Guardians, my name is Hyperhimes, and welcome to Cookie Run Oven Break 2, Double Stuffed. Now, before we get started on this, I recommend that you watch a previous video that I've done on a game, which is actually the same game, but if you remember, it was actually this game, Cookie Run Second Whip. Now, this is actually an update to the game, in which now it's called Cookie Run Double Stuffed, and apparently, of what I know, it introduces a new cookie, which looks like a scarecrow cookie, you all I know. I don't know much about the update, all I know is that the creator contacted me about this game being updated, and I was on vacation during it, so I couldn't play it. I know there was mobile support, but I wanted to, like, record it live, because I was just, like... This is one of my favorite fan games of all time, just because, even though it's a parody, I understand it's a parody, but, like... Oh, I'm excited. I'm already excited. Don't ask why the, the uh, website is in a different language. Uh, CG249 is who created it. And I'm pretty sure there was also a couple of people. Uh, added a new cookie. Mobile supported. And of course it says, you know, classic. Play as peanut butter cookie and run through the stage to collect gummies. And it says, it is here. Play as new scarecrow cookie in the new cookie run oven break 2 update. Double stuffed. I'm actually really interested in what this is going to be. Oh, and by the way, a sneak peek of what's definitely going to be gameplay. Uh, but... Oh, I'm so excited, uh, but, you know, before I start, I do want to say, I always thought there should be a Scarecrow cookie that should be added for, like, a Halloween update, and of course, they just did it themselves, they were like, you know what, let's chuck in a Scarecrow cookie, because why not? So, I'm already excited, I always thought Scarecrow cookie should be a thing as a Halloween thing, and I already love this, I already love Second Whip, so I'm excited what Double Stuff has to offer, so it's just gonna open up a whole new link. And by holding like I mean just like the tab for the game. G develop. G develop the app.com. Can I make test? <laughs> yes. Oh, there they are. CG249. BBG Arts. Deaf sisters, they run the thing. Oh! Yo, that's me! Yo, that was me! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my gosh, that I oh <laughs> for the cuckoo 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 run. Cuckoo run, and I think this update, I, I think this menu is updated because they got the ghostly goon now, and are those flies right there? Tap screen. Oh, oh, they, they, put, they said subscribe to Hyperheims. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cry, I'm fangirling already, oh. Uh, uh, I got, I gotta stop fangirling, I'm literally shaking right now. Oh, if only my webcam was on, uh, okay, cookie run, okay. So there's run and gallery. So hopefully the music isn't too loud. I'm actually gonna unhook one of my earphones just so I can hear the outside world. Uh, running ga gallery's a thing? Oh, home. Oh! Uh, back. Uh, next. <laughs> so we have Peanut Butter Cookie over here, whose gender is female, and Peanut Butter Cookie is a nice, humble farmer who loves to be around others. Alright, so prep next. Yeah, Scarecrow Cookie. Gender male. Scarecrow was hired by Peanut Butter's family to help with crops and keep pesky creatures away. I like that. Scarecrow cookie reference sheet. That looks really cool. I li I really like the design on that. Like the little like hay hair, the rips and tears, the overalls, the hat. And I'm pretty sure that's like the stick they're like connected on. But that honestly looks really cute. Peanut butter cookie reference sheet. That's adorable. And also you got the little like color references. Next. Head empty. <laughs> no thought. And head empty. <laughs> that's cute. Oh, that's all for the gallery. Oh, that's so adorable. Oh, I love this. Uh, all right, so we can uh, run. So level one, peanut butter tutorial, and story mode coming when we make a stable build. Oh, I'm gonna be excited for that. I'm gonna play that instantly. It's just you know, run up there. So I guess we gotta do our classic stuff. All right. Uh, oh, oops, jump. Okay. I think yes, I can double jump. Ah, I remember. Oh, by the way, this is new custom music. I think. New, 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 new. new. I remember when, uh, I think I ran through this, and I already missed the jelly back there, I know that, but I remember when I did, like, I tried to do the, uh, oh, had to press the jump button. I did the, uh, 100% score run, which, ooh. I am excited for the new cookie to play as, Scarecrow Cookie. I already think Peanut Butter Cookie is very adorable, but, yeah, at least I don't take damage. By the way, these are, oh, these are gummies, not jellies. I gotta bear that in mind. They're totally different things. Hey, at least we made it back to... We made it past 10,000. That's great. What was the high score for when I did this first time? Or is this level expanded? That'd actually be cool if it was expanded. I don't know. Okay. Take, give me that. Maybe not. Uh, yes. I did it. You did it. Thanks for playing. CG249 Art and Development. Uh, Dev Sisters made Cookie Run BG Arts. Okay. Oh! 
Okay, so that was just the tutorial, but these are the buttons just to uh, swap between them. Okay, so this is Scarecrow Cookies level, which, got, got, gotta be fair, kind of looks different from the one uh, on the, you know, gallery or tutorial or the front page, but, hey, you know what, whatever, I'll take it. Still looks cute, though. Okay. Ew. Jump. I wonder if I can get a full uh, gummy run with this character. And, oh, okay, there we go. This is a lot more of like a spooky level. Those look like cobwebs. It looks like I'm in a mine or something. Okay, we're fine right now. I just got to stay wary. Oh. Oh. Oh, I think I double jumped on that one. That was some skill. All right, this level, for all I know, could be longer and more skill-ridden. So, I'm probably not going to do good. Oh, the camera goes up. It's new. It's advanced technology. I forgot, I did press the jump button. Oh, I feel like I could have gotten a perfect there. Oh my gosh, I was so close. What if I jump over? No, you win. New game, new, uh, you win. Uh, hold on. Game art made by CG249, art made by BBG Arts, Cougar made by Devil Sisters, you dum dum. Thank you for calling me a dum dum. Well, you know what I have to do. I have, to, because, uh, I could have done that on a first try too. But I know I, it is possible for me to get the 100% run. I will be the one person to 100% all these levels, get all the gummies that are available. Remember, these are gummies, not jelly. These are different. I'm guessing those, oh, maybe those S things are like, you know, gummy worm things. Oh, and they look cute as well now that I look at them closer. But okay. We already know a difference between this level and the tutorial level is that there was a point where the camera moved, which actually does make it a little bit more challenging because you gotta, I guess, readjust your eyes. Oh, no. Oh, so the... Oh, is that new? Con continue exit. So there's a quick reset button. Did they have that before or did I just never notice it? Because if they had that before, then I must be blind. But if they just added that, then that's pretty solid, I gotta admit. So I don't have to just uh, go through the whole entire level just withering in my failure, knowing that I will never be a perfect cookie runner for second whip or uh, double stuffed. Now it makes me interested if they do update this game again, which I hope that they do. And, my, and if they do, I'm absolutely excited for it. I'm wondering what new cookie that they'll add. I know they had a uh, little contest for it on Twitter, which I actually tried advertising as well, like on my YouTube, because I want people to be like involved with it. Like I want to see if anyone had any fan-made cookies. Uh, I didn't reach 10,000, but it's just the limited amount of jellies. But there it is. We got the 100% run in the... Uh, game already so at least in the last update we did already get 100 all gummies in peanut butter cookies trial or just level and now we did it with scarecrow cookie that's amazing so i oh okay so if you click story mode coming when we make a stable build it just takes you back to the uh, menu uh okay so i think that's about it for this game i and let me just point out, I am very happy that they mentioned me at the start of the game because, oh my gosh, that made me, like, freak out so hard. Like, I didn't expect to see, like, me there. But, uh, oh my god. That, by the way, that little drawing of me was so cute. My little, uh, little yellow character with, like, the crown and, like, the little hammer. That was so adorable. <laughs> oh, I just love that so much. It looks so chibi and just, like, even just the character and design themselves. I know this is meant to be a parody, so, like, of course, like... It doesn't look high effort, but that's not meant to be insulting at all. It has its cute charm, and it's meant to be simple. And if they keep, like, pushing forward with this and, like, having, like, a continuing story of how it's working, that's gonna be really exciting. Ooh. <laughs> I'm just shaking my seat because, like, I really like fan games and stuff like that. Especially ones that, like, are in early access and I can be involved in and watch the progress of them going forth. But, yeah. Uh, I think I felt this way when I was looking at a, uh, an RPG that was in black and white. But I don't remember what the game was. Uh, it was about you were telling jokes, you were fighting bugs and stuff like that. But I gotta remember what that was, and I gotta check the progress on that. But anyway, with that being said, who please play this game in the description. Like, show the creators all the support. Like, the artist, the developer, everyone show Dev Sister support. And just, this game is amazing. It's very cute. It's one of the only, like, Cookie Run fan games I could have found. And I'm really glad that I found it. I hope they keep working hard on it because it's amazing so far. I can't express enough gratitude for it. Uh, but 
I'm gonna leave a link down to this game in the description. It's on Game Jolt. It's completely free to play, and you can actually play it on your browser. And they say it's also mobile supported, so you can also play it on your phone if you want to. But with that being said, if you did enjoy this video, then please be sure to leave a like on it, and I'll just share with your friends some more Cookie Run, you know, content, fan game content, or whatever. And if you enjoy my content in general, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel? And if you haven't yet, or you want to, then be sure to hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button to receive all my notifications on this YouTube channel and then in the future. And last but certainly not least, why not check out the merchandise store in the description? I'm not forcing you to buy anything, but there might be something in there that you might be interested in. But above all else, I will see you, Entities and Guardians, in the next video. Hail the Hypnese!